My sister is a rare gem, and she's undeniably fun. And if you've ever had the privilege of joining her on a planned adventure, you'll know that Taylor doesn't just live her life, she curates it. Uh, during our trip to Europe, under her expert planning, we went from one gourmet delicacy to the next. We tasted the fluffiest pancakes, gourmet chocolates, and then finished off with the best pad thai I ever had. We were nestled in this cozy Airbnb right by the water. It was perfect walking distance from museums, markets, the coffee shops. And even with all the bad weather, between dodging all the raindrops and stuffing our faces, traveling with you is a trip that's filled with fun and laughter. And so now I want to raise our glasses and a toast to Taylor and Brian. Here's to a lifetime of joyful escapades, delicious food dates, and a love that continues to bloom with every day. Mazel tov, Taylor and Brian. Lahaya! Welcome to the family, Brian. His laid-back demeanor and calmness has definitely rubbed off on Taylor. I'm glad I've had a few beach days with these two, where I have witnessed you both in your element of utter cool and calmness. Jason and I have always wondered who could measure up to Taylor's high standards, knowing she's found a man who will stand by her, adore her as she deserves, and grow with her into the future fills us with happiness. Brian, a welcome again. I'm so happy that you married my sister, and I'm so happy you have each other. And I'm fully aware payback is a bitch. And when the time comes, I'm available for babysitting and adventures too. L'chaim. I always knew my sister would marry a man who could keep up with her, one that would be impressed with her self-confidence and her sharp wit, a man who would be mesmerized by her ability to solve problems and plan for the future. She must be some kind of fortune teller because that boyfriend of mine that Taylor asked if she could write to, we got married 22 years ago today too. So when Taylor called to tell me she was getting married on August 29th, she said it was because it was a lucky day. Well, now it's even luckier because I share it with you. With all my heart, I wish you and Brian a lifetime of creating memories and firsts and all the things that everyone wants all couples to have as they begin their lifelong journey together. And here's something to get you, to give you a little head start because there's a lot of people here and you're gonna have a shitload of thank you notes to write. So here's some of my good stationery for you. I don't need to write it. I knew you were right for me. Remember how we are, living every minute, loving every minute. Beside it like a heartbeat If ever I forget Words and tales from storybooks Can't compare They're not as good Looking at you now It's obvious It's meant to be Don't have to try It comes naturally Stars align, perfect harmony. They 
fast forward to June 17, 2023, Brian and Taylor dined at their favorite restaurant, Antique Bar and Bakery. After dinner, Brian gets down on his knee, catching Taylor completely off guard and asking her to marry him. Of course, Taylor said yes, but after she said yes, she whispered in Brian's ear, I think I'm gonna throw up. One year later, I met Mr. B for the first time when he came to visit us in Florida. I don't think he had any idea he was gonna be subjected to a private interview. But I was very honest. I told him, we're a lot. We're really a lot. And he said the best thing to me. He said, I've waited my whole life for a lot. Thank you, Taylor, for taking me on all your adventures. I'm so honored. I'm so deeply honored to be your mother. And when I grow up, I want to be just like you. Brian, since our first date, I knew I wanted to keep you around. From being just a friendly face, I knew we were in college to someone I actually enjoyed spending copious amounts of time with. Things just fell right into place. It was the little things right from the start that let me know you were someone special and someone I could always count on. Text to make sure I got home safe, checking to see if I'd eat lunch, and always being so damn cute with flowers and chocolate, my kryptonite. Within six months, we move in together, and all of those little things have still continued. With us both working mostly remote, we literally not only became companions, but also co-workers, spending every single day together. This still holds true, and yet every day with you feels so surreal for me. After you moved in, I casually started jotting down my thoughts every time we've been apart. Sometimes I get emotional secretly, other times not so secretly. You'd be in the city for work, a night out with the guys, weekend trips away, or out for a run. I started to notice how much I miss not having you by my side. It was as though part of my heart was missing, but yet so at peace. You can imagine, after living on my own for almost 10 years, I've never felt more codependent in my entire life, and boy, did that hit hard. How could this be my new reality? Well, I'll tell you how. Brian, you are sweet, understanding, generous, handsome, so affectionate, and so patient. You've truly mastered what it means to love unconditionally. I've been so glad to share my pillow top bed, introduce you to the wonderful world of having a duvet cover, and sharing my passions for all things cooking and baking because you deserve the best. After all, it's what you give. Our shared love for exploring new places, really long walks, early morning spin classes, and always saying yes to sushi. We love early bedtimes, would only prove further just how compatible we really were. Although personality-wise, we can be pretty different. You're cool, calm, and collected, and me, collected, very cool, but not <laughs> calm at all. You're the yin to my yang. Over time, I've had to just really accept it's with you, my whole heart. Although we joke Teddy has it, it makes me emotional because I know there will always be a part of my heart with you forever. And I sometimes think that can be hard to admit when you're really in love. I take you today and every day as my husband wholeheartedly. Your love will never be taken for granted, nor will your efforts. I promise to stand by your side in good times and I will be your hero when all else fails. I promise to grow with you, to learn from you, and to become the best version of myself because of you. I will embrace the changes and challenges we face together knowing that our love will guide us through. I promise to leave a glass of water on your nightstand when you get in late, and I promise to never cheer for the Cowboys. In life, I've always had faith in knowing what was meant for me will not pass me by. And I thank my lucky stars for all the little things that continue to bring us together every single day. Thank you for loving me the way that you do. I love you, Brian Andrew. The plans we made and chances we take. I feel everything. 
Taylor, a day like today, filled with so much attention, is typically my nightmare. But I know it's okay because you're by my side. And who has time for nightmares when you're with the woman of your dreams? They're not really looking at me anyway, thankfully. I'm so grateful for you and everything about you. You've made me a stronger person than I was before. You taught me not only about duvets and moisturizer, but how to be my best self in all different forms. I think we both agree that talk is cheap, but there are some things that I vow to you. I vow to always let you have the last bite of dessert, and vow to always find a donut spot nearby whenever we travel somewhere new. I vow to always be as quiet as I possibly can when I wake up before you in the morning. I vow to understand if you don't ever want to go camping with me. I vow to hold your hand for the rest of my life. I vow to be the best husband and hopefully one day father I can possibly be. I vow to be your best friend and never let you face the world alone. I vow to say what I mean and mean what I say. I vow to love you and prove my love to you every day. I saw a quote recently that said, the problem is we look for someone to grow old together while the secret is to find someone to stay a child with. I'm excited to both grow old with you and always remain kids at heart because after all, we're just babies. I love you and I can't wait to go through life together. It's so obvious, forever calling us. Beautiful. Thank you. It's the first day. Yeah, it's the first day. Our story starts here. Brian, I need you to look at this very beautiful bride, and I need you to tell us, is this the bride you want to marry? Yes. Okay. And Taylor, I need you to look at this dashingly handsome groom, and I need you to tell us, is this the groom you want to marry? Yes. Okay, so now I want you to kiss and just hold it for a couple of seconds. Thank you. Yeah. circle seven times for the world was created in seven days and today Taylor and Brian you create your own world together seven circles are the space that belongs to the two of you alone seven circles remind you to have patience and understanding 
Seven circles of loving kindness is the way you care for one another and for those around you. Seven circles are the layers of responsibility that are yours for protecting and supporting one another. Seven circles block out the evil in the world. Seven circles remind you that God's divine presence encircles you every day. Your hearts circle seven times as a sign that your love shines today and will continue to do so forever. I'm sure as we carry those tonight that each of them would have loved to have been here to celebrate and would want only happiness and joy for the two of you. Today we rejoice as Brian and Taylor unite their lives. May their bond flourish as they navigate life's path side by side. May they find joy in shared experiences and strength in facing challenges together. May their home be filled with love and companionship, and may they continue to grow in health and contentment, ever grateful for the union of their lives. Do you, Brian, take Taylor to be your wife, promising to cherish and protect her, whether in good fortune or in adversity, and to seek together with her a life where traditions and faith are honored? I do. Do you, Taylor, take Brian to be your husband, promising to cherish and protect him, whether in good fortune or in adversity, and to seek together with him a life where traditions and faith are honored? I do. Brian and Taylor did create personal vows that they shared earlier today to avoid any ugly crying during the ceremony. <laughs> In keeping with the declarations that you have made, you give and receive rings. They are a token of your union, a symbol of enduring loyalty. May they ever remind you that your lives are bound together by devotion and faithfulness. The ring that Taylor will be using, she actually has two rings this evening. One of the rings has been used starting with her great-great-grandmother, was then used by her grandmother, her great-grandmother, her grandmother, her mother, and her sisters, and the ring is over 80 years old. She will also be using a new band purchased just for this day. Hooray. Hooray. At. At. Mikudeshet. Mikudeshet. Li. Li. Bitaba'at. Bitaba'at. Zo. Zo. Kedat. Kedat. Moshe. Moshe. V'Yisrael. V'Yisrael. As a sign of my love that I've chosen you above all else, I give you this ring. Hooray. Atta. Atta. Mikudash. Mikudash. Li. Li. Bitaba'at. Bitaba'at. Zo. Zo. Kedat. Kedat. Moshe. Moshe. V'Yisrael. V'Yisrael. As a sign of my love that I have chosen you above all else, I give you this ring. And I'm going to switch it to the left hand. Correct. And Taylor and Brian, as you stand here draped in these beautiful taluses, I want you to feel your parents' hands resting gently on your shoulders. Because today you enter into this covenantal relationship, you begin your world together. But we don't walk through the world alone. And you have wonderful, supportive, loving parents behind you every step of the way. And now, by the power vested in me by the state of New Jersey, it is my honor and delight to declare you, Brian and Taylor, married. Go forth and live each day to the fullest, and after you break the glass, you may seal this declaration with a kiss.
is a steady sound. I feel like I've been preparing for this speech longer than Taylor's been planning her wedding. It's a true honor to be standing here today as we celebrate the love story and marriage of Taylor and Brian. Taylor, you are absolutely gorgeous inside and out, and I love you so much. My sweet, beautiful Taylor, there's a time in your life you're lucky enough to meet that someone special who changes your life. I was very lucky to find two who changed mine, you and your mother. Our love story started many years ago when I married your mother. I would have never had you in my life if it wasn't for her. You both have created a ripple effect in my life. You have taught me the importance of love, support, and chasing after what truly matters. Here we are, almost two years later. We've witnessed their relationship really grow into something special. And we were so happy to spend some time last night getting to know the Baxter family very well. Thank you so much, Bob and Ellen, for a fantastic night. Um, and obviously, we love Graham Lil. Thank you to Gail and Ben for allowing us to be part of this very special day. Everything is perfect. Taylor, you look so beautiful today, and you are glowing. We are so happy that you found your person. Everyone, please raise a glass and join us in saying, as Taylor always says, the best is yet to come. Mazel tov. We love you.